Hello dear students, uh, here is a video just to show you how you can use a new tool to expand and increase your vocabulary. And I know there are a lot of online dictionaries uh, that you can use, but this one is slightly different and you may enjoy the visual element of this dictionary. So let's say uh, maybe you, you went to an online uh, news website like BBC News and you read something um, that uh, you know was interesting and you read it and there were some interesting words in it and some of them you wanted to check uh, in an online dictionary so for example you had UK chief negotiator Lord Frost and Stephanie Rice Rizzo, a senior member of the EU team are understood still to be in discussions in Brussels. So there's someone who is a negotiator, and we know that there is a verb maybe to negotiate. So what we can do is we can go to visual words and you can access it by going to visualwords.com and you can explore it. And you can put it in here into visualize a word and what it will give you is information, for example, negotiator comes out as purple because it's a noun. Anything that's green is a verb. Orange words are adjectives and darker orange or red reds are adverbs. And the lines between the words are also significant because uh, this grey line means that you are looking at an, uh, a synonym or something that means almost the same. Uh, this uh, uh, like arrow-like green is a kind of. So if we have a negotiator, he is a kind of a communicator and a representative also is a kind of negotiator and a settler is a kind of negotiator. So negotiator is the same as, um, and a bargainer negotiates because he tries to make a deal. He tries maybe, uh, you bargain, the, re the, the, the rent is 600 and you want it cheaper. So you bargain and you say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't afford it. And you're a bargainer then. Uh, a mediator is a related word and it's uh, similar to a go-between, someone who goes from one person to another and communicates what they say they want to say to each other. And you have the verb is negotiate, negotiate and talk terms is the same thing. And the broken line means, that dot, 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 the grey broken line means that these words are derivative, so they come from the same root as negotiator, but they're not the same part of speech. Negotiator, negotiate, negotiable, this is the adjective, yeah? Negotiation is also a derivative, and it comes from the word negotiator, or possibly from the word, from the verb to negotiate. Okay, so uh, if we look at other words, let's look at a different word. Let's say the word assign uh, from one of the words in here. To assign is uh, the central word here. And we have an assignment, which is a noun. Okay, and we have the verbs assign. Uh, or a lot or a portion. So you give someone a bit, a something. For example, you assign a job to a person uh, that works for you and you allot the jobs. For example, John, you do this, you, Mary, you do that. Um, uh, you also, another verb is to assign, to, means to attribute. So, uh, and there are different meanings of assign, all different verbs here, but they are related with assign, delegate, assign, specify, set apart. For example, this has been assigned as um, 
a kind of planet or it has been assigned to the category of um, the you can see here that they are there are adjectives related to assign assignable conveyable and negotiable and assigned if we click on um, one of these words assignment let's say um, duty okay here's the word duty here you will see other words related to duty possibly obligation uh, possibly yeah there you are moral obligation you have civic duty you have social control you have guardianship you have uh, duty free we know what duty free is at the airport duty bound is someone who is obliged to do something and I think um, this kind of visualization can um, expand your vocabulary so that when you learn one word you can at least learn two or three more words that are related to it. I hope you enjoy it.